Good morning, people. Here we are once again. Yeah, this has been, this is day three. And when, I want to talk about faith a little bit because in this time period, because when you try to help people out, you're very suspicious of what they're doing and what their motives are. So they had to get some things done for two days. Mm -hmm. And my heart stayed calm and I kept the faith. I, I knew in my heart that they got to get that done because when you're in a state of trying to take care of issues, you got to hope that somebody can believe in you enough to be patient with Amen. you. So here we are. They finally get to come to work. Yay! And we had an amazing talk today, which we'll go into more later. But I want to say that I want you to know I posted on Facebook that I needed some shoes. And... I only had two people say anything about it, so it kind of let me see something. Not that I'm judging people, but it's like, I don't know where we're at in our minds today because of the, everything going on and with the COVID and stuff like that, but Jackie is going to give some shoes that you can work in. Those are going to be your good shoes that you can walk around in. Cause I, got I love them. Look at them, y'all. Check them out. Don't <laughs> need strings. My favorite color. I'm booming today, y'all. <laughs> So, but now that we have that, and Patty, oh, Patty is sending you some shoes too, and you would Thank love Patty. You. She's in Maryland, and I, oh man, if she was here, you would be hugging that woman. Oh. She is a hugger. Anyway, so. But, but I, I hug on you all look, the time, I see? I know, babe. Look, look, look at that. You don't have that. We're the same age. I got that old lady well, chicken neck going probably, on. Probably. No, this is Todd. Anyway. This week is my anniversary. I'm excited about that because we never got to do anything on our anniversary but argue. Well, you know, when you're in a tough situation, sometimes that's all there is to do. You know what I mean? Fear? Mm. I know when I'm but, scared. and uh, But y'all are going to have a good time. But guess what? She made it happen for me. This well, we'll say since last week, uh, putting us in a room, making sure we were fed, making sure we had running water, comfortable bed. God has been really, really amazing and showed out and showed Himself to me, and I'm willing to be submissive and give my all and do things different. And I'm looking at different avenues, different how I was before, because I was down hopeless a couple of days ago, as you recall on the video. Now. I can wake up with a smile. I have something to wake up and look forward to. God is amazing. Check yeah. him out. And you know what's funny is, coming from my perspective, is I was like, okay, God, when I go up, that first time when you go, when you get somebody a hotel room and you don't even know, no, yeah. and you're like, all right, I'm going to walk gonna up. Are they going to tear it up or yeah. are they going to be there? It's going to be drugged uh, out. Yeah, or? exactly. I'm like, it's going to no. come out with rolling smoke and they're going to be like, you know. Yeah, and no. It, and I smoke thing, cigarettes. Yeah, yeah but, but that's different. Drugs that's, and that. But when I walked in, it was so neat and so clean, and I was like, "Yes, got it, God, got it." Okay, so now something really serious that I've always wanted to do, that yes, I hope Lord. you can do soon. I want some corn rolls. I can break. I Let's do see, it. I want to see what corn rolls like. I yeah, know. I can do it to the scalp. I can do the individuals. That's my thing. One of them is hair, but my field of work is CNA, and due to the COVID, caused me to lose my job, lose my place to stay. My car caught on fire, you know, but I'm still alive, and I'm here to, you know, talk it's about the, it. In the past, and we're moving on. We're going to talk about the past, too, but today is a good, good day. day. The weather is nice out here in Texas. I woke up in my right frame of mind. I was excited. I look forward to Linda in the mornings, you know. <laughs> I was late, stuck in a traffic jam, trying but, to keep my peace. But that's fine, you know, as long as I got a chance to see her. <laughs> then I bought a cell phone. Linda gave us money, said, don't spend it all in one day or one place. I did not say that to you. Well, he said, you said it, <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I got a, um, a cell phone from the dollar store, and I was so excited, you know, because I have a sick son in Indianapolis. And he's in the state hospital, God bless him, but he'll be coming home soon, so I have to get myself together so that I could be there for him. And um, I get the phone, $26, 
whatever the little tax is. Then you have to buy a prepaid card. So I spent ten dollars and some tax with that. So I get to the house to the motel, and I'm trying to activate it, activate it, and couldn't get it done. So finally, I got somebody like thirty minutes later. I'm on the phone over an hour now, and get this. He tells me, "Yeah, your ten dollar card is good, but you need to buy a thirty dollar card." And I'm like, "Oh my God, I just oh <laughs> Lord!" And then they had to come tell me that. Yes. And so he was like. Oh, I'm a Sunday, you know, and I could feel it in him, and I'm like, it's okay. So I never did get to use the phone, but guess what? I still have it, and God will make a way when God's ready for me to be in contact with somebody. I'm just at a stand, you know, stand still, and I'm trusting in God to, you know, move in my life and make miracles and everything that's, that's possible. I think I am a walking testimony. Um, less than a month and a half ago, I had a slight stroke out here in the heat i was sleeping on the, on the ground actually didn't know where my next meal was going to come from but they had people in fort worth coming to feed you know everybody on lancaster it was tough down there you know using the bathroom outside you know and i'm a woman so you know how that goes um not knowing if you know someone's gonna kill us while we're laying there on the sidewalk laying in the rain pulling luggage everywhere i was whittled down thank god for linda she has been awesome to me. I kind of call her my mom, but we're the same age. So this is my sister, sister, sister. And I love her so much. Love you too, sweetheart. Hopefully I'll get to meet her son and we can hang out and play ball or whatever. Oh gosh, I told, he found out. I've been hiding it from him. And I told the guy at the store last night, I said, so anyway, you can give me a discount on this. I said, I'm kind of taking care of some people right now. I said they don't, they don't have homes, and I'm kind of restarting their life for them. And he said, No, ma'am, I can't do it. And my son, we walked off, and he goes, Where are they? He goes, Where did you hide them? Are they in the house somewhere that I can't see it? He goes, Where are they? And I started laughing. I said, I said they're somewhere. Don't worry. And he goes. Mom, this is not a Bible story. He goes, things don't end up, it's not going to end up good like a Bible story. And I go, babe, there ain't really very many Bible stories that end up You'll good. You'll do it, yeah. I said, but I'm doing what God tells Told me, me to, do. to do. And you know that's how I roll. And he goes, okay. All right, Mama, I'm going to trust you. And I said, good, thank you very much. You're going to love it. He's so freaking funny. He's going to love y'all. Yeah, I can't, love I can't, I can't wait, you know have lunch with them, you know, walk around the mall, just, you know, no, just to hang out. y'all are going to come home to me, and y'all are going to see. Y'all will see. Yay. Anyway. Well, Mickey had me laughing. You know, I love animals, but I'm scared of the chickens, and I told him, I said, Linda's going to get a good laugh. If one of the chickens come out, you know, and you know how you get so afraid of something that you get the goosebumps? Well, I had experience as a kid. My daddy was a cowboy. And his friends, them had chickens and stuff. Me, I go in there and I clap my hands like this. And the chickens, I didn't know they could even fly. And they flew up yay high. And I run across the picnic table, jump off the picnic table, fall on the ground, get up and run again. Yes, I said, Linda and her son would get some good laughs. Because the first time one of them come and I, ah! And it take off to, you know, fly and run. They would really see me run and hop from here to hop from there. Okay, now I have another thing for you. Mm. I love goats. I, I stereo. Oh, I got we got some goats there. I got a stereotype. I want to see if this is what you're all about. Guess what I have is one of my dogs. What? A pit bull. I love them. My kids raise pit bull. If I had my phone, I can show you a million pictures of bullies. We, we got to stop. But I found her, she was abandoned, and I knew to pick her up, and she loves me. Oh my God, she loves me. She's just like.